is, oops, Siri is going off. Siri, go away. No. My phone just spoke. Anyways. Hi guys. Okay. So today's video, it is time for April favorites. I don't know why I said that like a school teacher. Like, okay, for today's video. But it is time for April favorites. So yeah. Um, I'm trying to think where to start. I have... I always say, every month I'm always like, I have a random mixture of things, but it's always a random mixture of things. So, I guess I will start with the first thing that is probably the most exciting to me. Um, I have told you guys before that I am participating in a walk in the month of November to benefit an organization that is really, really close to my heart called Zoe Children's Homes. Um, I made a video about them about a year ago and what they do and I will link it up here and it's really important information I think for you guys even if you don't want to get involved or help me with my walk or anything like that it's important information for you guys basically what Zoe does is they help get children out of human trafficking for those of you that don't know what human trafficking is it is essentially modern-day slavery um, it's a cause that is really really close to my heart and I'm going to be doing a um, walk to help benefit like to raise money for Zoe in November. So the way that I am raising money through my YouTube channel is one of two ways. The first one is I actually have a website listed down below where you can donate for the walk. I know a lot of people were really confused because it's only a mile. Um, I can't walk very far anyways, which is why I was excited that it was only a mile. It's not about the distance, it's about the amount of money that I can raise to go to the children's home. Um, so yeah, if you want more information, which I really hope you do, it's an amazing cause, you can click on the video up there. But the second way to donate is the way that's really, really cool also that a lot of you might be interested in. Um, if you watch Ingrid or Fleur or Allison or myself, any of our vlogs, um, you may have seen us wearing these bracelets from May Movement. Now, Haley and her mom over at May Movement have agreed to do kind of a donation process through Zoe where if you purchase any of these bracelets and when you're checking out in the description box, you write the code listed right here they will donate a percentage of the sales from the bracelet to my walk with Zoe. So it's another cool way, like if you were already thinking of buying these bracelets, um, it would really, really be awesome because you're helping out two causes. You're not only helping women in Nepal, but you're also helping kids in Thailand and helping get people out of human trafficking. So it's really, really cool. Um, all of that information will also be linked down below. So these bracelets are definitely a favorite. They're really, really beautiful. Um, I swear I get so stopped like ask people asking you where these things are from like all the time it's crazy and I love them and it's fun to look down and know like they're not just beautiful but know like where they come from it's really really cool so um yeah all that information will be down below so that is my first favorite moving on my next favorite I'll stick in the vein of uh, of fashion. The next favorite is a top that I actually purchased in New York is this fun top from Free People. Now I really like this because it's really really bright. It's really like on trend with everything that's on trend. Do you like my terminology? You've got on trend with um, stuff right now, the, the neons and the brights, but this color is actually a really great color on me as well and it's different than a lot of other tops I've seen out there. Um, you wouldn't figure it was because it's just an orange striped top that's you know, tube top, but I haven't seen many people walking around with this kind of top. So I really, really like this. It was from Free People, and yeah, that is my first favorite. It's so cute and comfy. So, okay, the next fashion favorite are these sandals by Cynthia Rowley. So um, you're going to have to forgive me. I'm really not very classy. I wish I was, but I didn't take the little size sticker off. I can never get those things off, and then I just get too lazy, and I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to wear them. But here are the sandals. They're kind of these, like, I'm going to cover it so it looks more classy. These, like, Grecian kind of t-strap sandals but um I got them as, I got these at TJ Maxx they were originally I want to say like $70 and I paid 30 for them um so it's kind of cool you've got the gold beading and the gold little links and hardware in here okay so I almost forgot one of my fashion favorites um this is a wishbone necklace that I found on eBay uh, my friend Rachel does a lot of eBay shopping and um, she told me she was like you have to just try some of the stuff it's really cheap it takes forever to get there but when you get it it's really awesome so for 99 cents I have been loving this wishbone necklace and 
yeah, it's really, really fun. It did take like two months to get here. I literally ordered it two months ago, but I have it now and I really, really like it. <laughs> so that was the last fashion favorite. JK. Okay, so that is it for fashion favorites. Moving on to beauty product favorites. Um, I'm going to start off first with this Scandinavia No More Shine Makeup Finishing Spray for oily skin. Now, um, I have drier skin, but my ma my like skin when I have makeup on becomes really oily. So, um, and when I first used this stuff, I actually did not like it I kind of didn't I thought it was a big gimmick and I was like what is the point this doesn't do anything and then one day Ingrid told me she was like why don't you know you have to try spraying it before and after because spraying it before really really helps and I was like okay I'll give it another shot and I did and I'm now obsessed this makes my makeup last so much longer um, it just stays put longer and doesn't move around doesn't, Ugh, my hair. If you have a makeup setting spray such as like the Urban Decay D Slick or this stuff, then I would recommend trying spraying it before and after because um, it makes it last so much longer. So yeah. Okay, so if you saw my bathroom tour and you've been watching my videos long enough, you probably saw I had quite a few Revlon lip butters because I have backtracked on my thing I said before about not being a fan. So I'm still kind of Mm, about most of them, but I have found two that I really really like and one in particular is my current favorite from the Revlon Lip Butters and this is Berry Smoothie. Um, I'm figuring out that berry colors um, that are more pink and red based um, as opposed to like the super purple berry colors look really good on me. They kind of give like, because I am so fair, they kind of give like a um, like a princess look. I know it sounds really weird to say that about myself. It's just the coloring. Um, it kind of gives like a cartoon princess look and I really really like it. So this is cool because I got another color and I can't remember but it was too pigmented. This one is like more in between. It's not crazy crazy dark but it's not like a see-through lip balm. I retract that statement about not liking them. This has been in my favorites videos before, but I just bought a new bottle and every time I, I run out for a little while and then I buy a new bottle, I remember how much I love the scent. And it is the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Perfume. Um, man, this is like, this is my favorite perfume. When I was in New York, uh, Fleur had like a rollerball version of it and every time she would whip it out, I wouldn't even see her do it, but I would smell it all of a sudden and I'd be like, Fleur, you smell good. I just really love this stuff. Why do I always do that? I always spray it when I'm talking to you guys and I choke on my perfume. Ah. So the next beauty favorite, I think, okay, I told you guys I don't really break out very much anymore, but I think like when I'm traveling a lot or I get busy, um, I don't eat as well and I think the stress of traveling messes with my skin because I had a few more breakouts this month than normal and that was annoying, but um, I was luckily able to turn to my favorite like pimple cream, my favorite spot treatment, and it is the Proactive Refining Mask. Um, I don't use this as a mask, and I don't like the whole Proactive line. Like, I don't really like any of it. For my skin, I've always reacted badly, but man, this Refining Mask is my favorite spot treatment out there. I've tried so many of them, and for me, this really works, and it's got a 6% um, sulfur, like, that's the active ingredient, 6% sulfur, um, and I've tried ones with 10, so it's weird that this one works the best on me. It just must be the combination of whatever the heck is in here. They've got tea tree oil in here, zinc, um, kale and clay, uh, yeah, and then the sulfur. So for some reason this one just works the best on my skin and it's really been a lifesaver this month. There have been a lot that were coming up and between I think my topical antibiotic and this, it like pushed them right back down, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I really like this stuff. My last beauty favorite of the month, um, once again, I hate to like be repetitive, but if you've been on my channel for a long time, you probably saw me talk about these last year, um, and I've liked these for a long time, but I took a break because I was like, oh, I'm going to find something else, try new things. No. I'm back to using these, and I'm like, wow, why the heck do I use anything else? My hair literally feels so much better when I use this stuff, and this is the Matrix Total Results Sleek Line. Um, this is the shampoo and the conditioner. I bought these bottles, I believe, at Walmart, um, but they just work so well on my hair. Every time I use them and I really, like, use the conditioner, like, grace graciously, I don't know the word I'm looking for, um, I use a lot, I don't use it sparingly, I get out of the shower and my hair feels like it's been through a full-on treatment, like, crazy. My hair feels the best 
when I am using this shampoo and conditioner. Um, and I had really forgotten that. And I was like, wow, this stuff's amazing. I probably will try other stuff again, you know, down the line. But like, my hair was feeling like poop. And the other day I got it cut and then I used this again. I went back to using this and I was like, wow. This stuff works great in my hair. For those of you that are wondering, by the way, I have naturally coarse, dry, wavy hair, um, and I do color my hair. I am a blonde, naturally, so that's kind of the state of my hair. For those of you wondering if this would do well on your hair, it might not do well on someone with thinner hair because it is a smoothing treatment, but it's not, what is going on? It's not overly moisturizing. Like, I don't do well with overly moisturizing shampoos. I don't know, for some reason, this is like perfect for my hair. It's not too like moisturizing and greasy and it's not like doesn't give any moisturization I don't know if you get what I'm saying so oh yeah there is one more favorite the other favorite of mine is I have been venturing into fun nails recently I don't have them on today because I was going somewhere over the weekend where this matched my uh, outfit I was wearing but I've been really into painting my nails all different colors and glitter and stuff like that and you guys know that I tend to be pretty boring like my favorite color is Lincoln Park after dark so for me I've been very adventurous and if you follow me on Instagram you have been seeing all of those like tweets or Instagram pictures whatever so yeah let me know what your guys' favorites are for the month you can either leave like a video response down below or comments down below and I love going through your guys' stuff because I feel like I get like recommendations and ideas for what to look for because I'm always on the hunt for new products too that work really well and I feel like you guys are the best like recommenders for me because all of you guys know like what my skin type is like my hair is like so um yeah let me know what you guys like down below and i think that is it so i will see you guys next time i hope you have an amazing rest of the day and yeah bye guys